In late 1944, a Frenchman working in a camera shop in France would come across this image. A German soldier had dropped off the film, and when the shop operator developed it, he was in shock. Not because the man in the image was facing a firing squad, because the man in the image was smiling. In this video, we tell the story of Georges Blind, the World War II French resistance fighter who smiled in the face of evil. Georges Blind was born in the French town of Belfort in November 1904. At the age of 25, he joined the local fire brigade and became a qualified firefighter. Blind retained his position in the local firehouse and wouldn't be affected by the war until the German invasion of France in May 1940. Following the blitzkrieg tactics used by the Germans, and the subsequent evacuation of British and French troops in Dunkirk, France would fall under German occupation by the 25th of June. An agreement was reached and France was more or less split in two, the northern occupied zone and the southern free zone, run by the Vichy French government. Millions of German troops would live in and move through France during the war, but their time spent there wouldn't be an easy one. The French would create an organised underground resistance against the German occupation. The French resistance would play a pivotal role in information gathering, as well as distribution of weapons and assisting escaped Allied POWs and downed pilots. Many towns and cities would form their own group, and Belfort was no different. In 1941, Georges joined the local resistance. He was a perfect operative because as a firefighter, he had a permanent pass to move around town, as well as a nighttime pass, which allowed him movement after dark. This was key as most civilians didn't have access to this pass without legitimate reasons. But with that, he was able to utilise his position in the fire brigade to smuggle weapons, intelligence and other paperwork. He was also able to transport other resistance fighters, and men and women wanted by the Germans. It's not known exactly how his cover was blown, but in October 1944, after three years of operations, Georges was arrested by the German military police. Not long after his arrest, he would be dragged before the citadel of Belfort. Propped up against the corner of one of the buildings, a German officer organised 18 German soldiers. These were set up in two rows of nine, each of them armed with a Carabiner 98k rifle. They were ordered to raise their weapons and take aim at Georges. He was threatened with death if he didn't give up information about the French resistance. But instead of telling the officer what he wanted, he surprised everybody by smiling at the firing squad. In the end, no one fired at him. It was a mock execution. The Germans had tried to use this as a scare tactic to get what they wanted, but all they got was a smile. This was the moment captured by a German soldier with a camera at the scene. Following this though, Georges was transported to Alsace with a number of other prisoners before being sent to Dachau concentration camp. But this wouldn't be his final destination, as by November 1944, he and many others were deported to Auschwitz in Poland. He arrived at the concentration camp and would be seen by a doctor who, with several others, would be sent away, never to be seen again. It's not known exactly what happened to Georges, but he's believed to have died in Auschwitz not long after this interaction. Following the war, he would be posthumously awarded the Resistance Medal, the 1939-1945 War Cross, and an award from the firefighters. At the end of the war, once the photograph was discovered, it would be featured in news articles, but Georges wouldn't be identified in the photo until the 1980s. A truly brave man who smiled in the face of death. What did you think of Georges Blind and the French resistance during World War II? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. 
As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.